internet friends, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Michiwi and I am on a weight loss journey. And today we're doing a smoothie prep and then going sailing. So normally when I make my smoothies, I use whey protein, chocolate flavored, some spinach, some blueberries, some Greek yogurt, some coconut milk, and a tablespoon of peanut butter. I've experimented with different amounts that I put in there, fresh versus frozen, and additional ingredients. But today we're gonna do a different one. I had a mango recently, love mangoes, it's a superfood. I found a four ingredient mango recipe for a smoothie online. I'll pop it in the description box below. Uh, I'm gonna alter it a little bit though. So the four ingredient smoothie calls for spinach, mango, banana, and almond milk. Simple as that. I got a mango, I got the almond milk, I got the spinach. I prefer avocados over bananas, usually. <laughs> There's just some things you can't replace avocados for bananas with. But in this recipe, I think I can. But to add the sweetness that I would usually get with a banana, I'm gonna put honey with it because also uh, it's allergy season. Mine are kicking up real bad, especially after mowing. So honey is gonna help me hopefully a little bit. I mean, I actually don't think it will help. <laughs> Let's be real, I don't think I'm gonna put enough in. I don't think I'd do it for a long term, but it's a choice. I'm also going to be adding Greek yogurt. When I have a smoothie, I'm trying to pack in as much stuff for my gut health and for protein needs as possible. I wanna get as much nutrient stuff in there as possible because smoothies are usually a bit caloric, so I might as well get a lot of bang for my buck. So yeah, probiotics, prebiotics, protein. Those are what I'm looking for in a smoothie usually. And if you are having a hard time remembering those three Ps for your smoothie, just remember p -p -p smoothie. Does it work? I don't think it does. First, we gotta Prep the mango. The mango is the hardest part. Everything else is gonna be just throwing it in a blender. Okay, so to prep, oh, maybe don't wave around a knife. Uh, to prep a mango, you're supposed to start with the stem and then cut that off and then peel around it. And then there's a seed that you also have to cut around. So this is the mango I'm working with. I don't see a stem. I'm just gonna say the pointy end is where I'm gonna start. All right. <laughs> Are you going back again? No. Okay. All right, so I cut the top and I'm just gonna peel. And when I was looking for, I'm not great at peeling this. The last time I tried to peel one, it didn't come out very nice. It's coming out in little bits. So um, not really video worthy. I'll talk to you guys while I'm doing it instead, even though I have proven that I can't multitask. But when I was looking in the grocery store, if you're looking for a ripe mango, they said to look for ones that are turning from green to red. So they have a multicoloring. Um, they're a little squishy and they have a sweet scent coming from them. This one had none of that. It's all red. It had no scent that I could smell and it is a little squishy. It might be a little too squishy actually. That's a little bruised. I'm gonna cut that off. It's, we'll get there. Okay, so bruise part cut off. Now that dark coloration is the seed. Uh, I need a cutting board and my hands are all juicy. Okay, and because I am on a calorie deficit, a weight loss journey, I am going to weigh this stuff. I will give you guys a final calorie count. Um, if you're not looking for that, don't worry. It's still a healthy smoothie. It's, it's, it's a good thing to have. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, I'm gonna add not only Greek yogurt, but a little bit of vanilla protein juice. I got slim fast, high protein vanilla cream. I got this for my coffees because I was trying to add protein into my coffee. There is 20 grams in this bottle with seven carbohydrates. It didn't taste good. I didn't like it in my coffee. So I'm gonna try it in here because I usually do enjoy protein powder in my smoothies. So to weigh this, we're gonna, we're gonna look down now. We're gonna look at my prep and I'm gonna talk to you guys. Here is my blender. If you can see, no you can't. I've got it on grams. I am both weighing solids and liquids. And rather than have to switch my units constantly, I'm gonna keep it at grams because grams convert into milliliters. The great thing about this is that I am just throwing it in a smoothie so I don't have to make it look pretty. I just wanna get this stuff off from around the sleeve. I don't have to try and display it gorgeously. It's just all going in, as much as I can get, at least. That might be it. This is a pretty big seed. I'm just gonna use my fingers to kind of feel where the seed is. 
Okay, it's a mess. That's This is what I'm tossing out because I can't figure it out more, but I'm sure that I got most of it. Boink, boink. If you are tracking, I just use a dry erase board and then I plug it into my net diary. So mango, 180 grams. I do that because it becomes very hard for me to try and scroll through my phone while I'm doing this. I just want to be able to have one hand writing while the other hand is putting ingredients in. Next is the honey. I'm not gonna measure it, I'm just gonna drizzle it. Ooh, I think that's about good. Make sure to zero that sucker out. Slim fast vanilla protein. Just gonna dump as much in as I want because I am weighing it. Now we have our silk almond milk. 60 calories a cup. I'm just gonna splash what I think is gonna look good. That looks about right, 129 milliliters. And I will pop up on the screen what that converts to in cups, just so that you guys uh, can know how to make it if you're just using measuring tools. If you're like me and there's a recipe out there but you don't wanna follow it completely. All right, there's my Greek yogurt. Just gonna go plop. So I found these avocado chunks that are frozen and I love them because it's an easy way to keep avocados in the house for smoothies without me having to worry about them going bad. I don't use them enough to have, to justify buying a whole avocado. I'm just gonna drop some in. And then last but not least, baby spinach. And with the baby spinach, that's how I like to do that. As you can see, she's full, she's beautiful, she will be blended. This smoothie will be 523 calories, 62 carbs, 21 protein, and 22 fat. It looks really thick and creamy. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's nice, thick and creamy, gorgeous color. I'm excited about this. I, I'm really excited about this, actually. I need to experiment with smoothies more. Ready? <laughs> I didn't expect it to be that good. That's really good. That is so good. I honestly don't think I needed the honey. It's sweet on its, well, it's sweet on its own because it's got that vanilla flavored protein stuff. So not on its own, like it's not natural, but didn't need the honey. I added the honey because I thought it was gonna be very bland tasting. The mango, the avocado, the spinach, it all melodies really well. I think, I think that's a really good one. I also got seven grams of fiber in here. The only thing I have to judge about it is that I probably should have put in half a mango, skip the honey, and put in more Greek yogurt so that I would get more protein, less carbs. Mm. Oh boy, that's good. That's so good. I'm definitely needing to experiment with smoothies more. Okay, I'm gonna go finish this and then we gotta go head out for the boat, the boot. So I am realizing that uh, we have a master lock, lock um, on our cabin door for our boat and I locked our keys inside the cabin and then locked up the doors. <laughs> so based on how today goes with the lock, we either will or won't be sailing and I guess you guys will go ahead and see that now. All right, do you see what I did? We have no keys. Well, we do, they're in here. That's a cut up aluminum can. I thought you had a lock picking kit. I do not have a lock picking kit. I said I was gonna make a lock picking kit. I don't think with this rubber piece on here I can actually Can we cut off the rubber get piece? to what I want. So you brought a hammer and some aluminum. Yeah. Oh, you're breaking it. That's good. That's what we want. I'm afraid of you using this aluminum to like Yay! Okay, so you got the rubber off. Yay! Oh my god, I just sat on metal. That's hot. What are you, What is this supposedly doing? Oh, this is going to shim. So that shackle. The shackle. The shackle goes in, and you know how you know how they have a little notch in them. Yeah. That notch has a retaining bead, whatever it's called. 
And um, that retaining bead is just keeping it locked. And so if I can get this in here, which I don't think I'm actually going to be able to do. I don't have much faith in this. Yeah, well, it's method one. So apparently the little notch right there was catching on the locking nug. Lug. Nug, Lug. Whatever. Lug. He's trying to Lug. make it move with aluminum. <laughs> it might work. It actually might work now that I'm now that I'm seeing this notch, it might actually work. So it did not work and now there is aluminum in the lock. Yeah, no. Apparently Stephen came with two methods. Three. You came with three? Okay. Any of them involve bolt cutters? No, they don't own bolt cutters. They don't own bolt cutters. That's a shame. Do you guys perhaps see what he's about to do? I want you guys to see this because in my head something that I don't think should be happening is going to happen. Yeah? Yeah. What do you think going to happen? I think you're going to yank on it real hard. No, well, I'm going to yank. I'm going I'm to pull on it. I'm not going to yank on it. That would just be silly. I think what's about to happen is going to be silly. I want it to be known. I don't think this is a good idea. You're good. You're in. It's open. Oh my god, it freaking worked. It was a good idea. We're going sailing today, guys. Trees are in green. The ocean is gray. Sky is a vague blue. Come away. My room is a mess. It could use a hand. My favorite TV shows are capturing. I know I must get it right. I must get back in the fight. This can't be a surprise I think I'll let it slide I'm sleepwalking through All of my problems and all I can't make it through Every night is the same I keep running fast Left and right Wondering where my head's gone now I'm sleepwalking through All of my problems and all a little bit of a retrospective discussion. I feel very disappointed in myself. A lot of things were happening really quickly and we couldn't stabilize. There were a lot of gusts, there were a lot of waves. We tried to get over in kind of a wind shadow to not be hit so hard and that didn't help really at all. We did learn a couple things here and there but it was, it was too much for me. Steven felt uncomfortable but I felt completely out of my zone. So we just need more experience. I would be completely demotivated right now if it weren't for the fact that Steven and I talked, he reassured me, and then we came up with a plan. So going out into that stuff, we had an ABC plan. Like if this happens, do this. If this happens, do this. If this 
all of it goes wrong, that's plan C, we head back. We ended up going through A, B, and C. And for experience, we're gonna start doing tacks like every three minutes on the good days. We're gonna just get muscle memory on the tacking. Uh, we're gonna play with the wind more. We're gonna try and go in and out of heavier winds because sometimes there's spots where it's easier and then you sail out a little bit and it's a lot harder. So we're, we're gonna just kind of keep playing with it. We, we just need more experience. It, it's very easy to get demotivated and disappointed in yourself and feeling like a failure. It's very easy to do that. But I am not going to get too down on myself because I haven't stopped trying. I am actively putting in that work. I would not have gone out on that before. And I, I said, okay, we're gonna do this. Steven had to raise the sails. I had to steer because I felt too scared to move up there. And the signal for me to be too scared to move around up there is usually let's head back. We're trying more stuff, getting more experience. I am not going to be perfect at it, even though I would love to be on my 10th try, 12th try, whatever. I also have to remember that this is going to be the hardest sailing we will ever do in our lives. We got a wonky mass hole area where the freaking main sail goes up. The weight of the boat is 2,250 pounds, which means it does get pushed around a little bit more and we're new at it. So those are things I need to remember. I think that I think that's about it. I'm trying to stay positive, which is a plus also that I'm attempting to stay positive. And I have a long history of catastrophizing things, so that also is a step in the right direction. Thinking positive thoughts. Reminding myself of positives and plans and just ways to be easier on myself and thinking about the hopeful future I have. Uh, other than that, uh, I'm just gonna have more shrimp and bean sprout and sweet and sour sauce with some Cajun seasoning. It was delicious, I loved it. I don't have a lot of calories and I need a lot of protein. So that will be what I have for dinner. My stomach's a little upset from the nerves. Let me know in the comments, would you have been out there struggle busting it and trying to get through it? Or would you have said, hey, maybe not today. Also, let me know if you like the smoothie or if there's any other things you want me to try. I'm all ears. You can also comment an emoji of a sailboat or I think maybe a smoothie. I don't know if they have an emoji of a smoothie, but if they do, do that. Uh, my brain's a little rattled, so I think it's time for me to sign off and say goodbye. Bye!